You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around. What's all good, you two? Everything to your back again, once again. And today, people, today we're for episode number 94 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, I believe it was Mo Lane that we took on in our championship title defense. And uh, I went ahead and looked up some information regarding this. And apparently, we're halfway through. So we have a couple more championship title defenses to go ahead and power through. So if you guys are hyped for today's championship title defense, how many times can I say championship title defense in the goddamn introduction of the video? And of course, if you're a proud member of the Abbey Nation, make sure you smash your like button down below. Low for because you already know your supporters greatly appreciate it. And of course, you know, can't wait. Let's play again with the motherfucking Nappy Nation. Can now let us get a super duper, super fast mode, ah, super duper quick uh, party team recap because it's been a minute since I recorded, which I'll talk about here in a moment. But we have Dorado, our Kamo, level 72, Yolanda, our Serena, level 70, Cactus Jack, our Toxpex, level 70, our second child. We have Delilah, our Mudzel, level 73, Zion, our Big Steel Button, our Soul Galeo, level 70, and last but not least, we have our child, our first born Frankie the Primarina at level 73 as well. Now, I did say it's been a while since I recorded this, only because I have to go through the Elite Four each time. Like, it, like in order for you to get up here to the Champions Room, you have to fight the Elite Four each time. So that's why, like, you, people save their game, like I save my game right now, I'm on a soft reset, and I'll record the next couple episodes based on whoever shows up. Uh, but... Of course, you guys know we've been shiny hunting over on Twitch, and obviously I can't shiny hunt while I'm in this room. So it's like I recorded the first or the last five episodes, and then I went and did shiny hunting. And I've just been procrastinating and going through the Elite Four ever since then. And last night, finally, I just sat down and I was like, all right, let's do this. And I just went through it. And plus, on top of that, I don't want to go through the Elite Four again because then we get even more overleveled and everyone complains. Why are you so high leveled? Yada, 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 yada. And I'm just like, I can't win. I can't win. What? Bro, that nigga's dope. That nigga is dope. I, I want you to know, I've seen like different pictures and screenshots and glimpses of him before, but like actually seeing him, like nigga, he is dope. Bro, where has he been all game? Can we swap out Lily for Ryuki? Like nigga, please, where has he been all game? The name's Ryuki. I'm what you might call a star. I mean, with partners like my Pokemon, how could I not be a star? I came all the way across the sea here to Alola to spread my fame out here, too. The whole world will be mine soon. Bro. What? So what region is he from? If he came across the seas to Alola. Because he looks like he's dressed up like a Turtonator. Is it a Turtonator or is it something else? I'm just not realizing it. This thing has a guard shot. I don't even know what I'm leading with. Dorado. Oh boy, hold on. I gotta fix my camera. Dorado, you about to get your ass ate, my nigga. You about to get your ass swallowed, my dude. Um, I feel like he's gonna go for a dragon type move. Um, oh, that's I know I'm leading with Dorado because I went into lead four and I would click Dragon Dance like three times and just sweep their team, trying to get through them as fast as possible. I'm gonna go out to Frankie. I like how before we led with Frankie on these. And uh, now the one time we need to leave with Frankie, she's not available. Please don't earthquake me. I really appreciate it. Please don't thunderfang me either. Dragon Claw. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Moon Blast. No, I'm gonna Ice Beam. I'm gonna Ice Beam. Poison, just stick has poison. Oh shit! My nigga! Refresh coming through. And there goes everybody. Oh my god, you would've died to the poison jab if you hadn't used Pokemon Refresh. Oh my goodness. It's a part of the game. I don't know what you want. What's done is done. What's done is done. Jerompa. This thing is a dragon type trainer? My nigga? What? Is it just... Okay, I don't know if I'm I'm the one going crazy. He's dressed like a Turtonator, right? He's meant to be like a Turtonator trainer. It's dragon type. So if he has a Turtonator, then all my suspicions would be true. And you know, someone tweeted me like two weeks ago asking me like, how come... I never use the Ferium Z on Frankie. And to be 100% honest with you, the thought just honestly never crossed my mind. Like, we had the Waterium Z, and that was that. i just been using the Waterium Z ever since, because I guess I kind of went on autopilot, tunnel visioned it, and just thought water type starter, water type Z move, especially since we didn't use um, Frankie Z move because of copyright. 
So I, I guess that's why. But you're right, I could have used the fairy type Z Moon and I still would have been stabbed. And this nigga's getting his ass eaten out. If we would have let any other starter, we'd have been bodied by now. We'd have been bodied. And that's funny because last dragon that we encountered in, the, in that evolution mission, that nigga almost bodied us. Come on, oh, this nigga really is a dragon type. He is going for Lance's title. This nigga is going for Lance's title! I'm sorry though, my nigga. Frankie is literally a dragon slayer. Frankie is literally a dragon slayer. This Komo outspit? Damn! God damn! Frankie is juking and vibing today. My goodness. My goodness. Ryuki, my nigga. Yo, he is dope. I don't care. He is fucking dope. He does have a Terminator. 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 My nigga. Bop. Yeah, that nigga looks like a Terminator. But my thing is, if he came across the sea to Alola, that means that he came from another region that had Terminators. Because it's like, I, I wasn't paying attention to the levels. I don't know if he had, uh, if Terminator actually is his ace or not. But, at the same time, it would be odd for him to dress as Terminator if he didn't have that bond, that relationship with Terminator. You know what I mean? Terminator, you just got the dick, my nigga, I'm sorry. You turned around and bent over, look, you bent over and got the dick. So that means that he came from a region where Terminators are a thing. What if he's like the 8th gen Lance? And like in 8th gen he'll be the champion, he'll be super dope. This nigga looks like the, the dude from Wonderful 101. Oh my god, my nigga. I'm gonna belt out everything inside of me. I gotta encourage my Pokemon to keep rocking. Oh, please don't tell me he's supposed to be a rocker. And what's with the, the gloves not having fingers? What's with that? What's with that? Everyone's got their own problems, huh? The critics love my songs, but nobody was buying my music for a while, man. But I'm just a rocker down to my bones. Nothing else to do but keep on rocking. I dig you, champ. Looks like you know who you are, too. Right down to your bones. Oh, he is a rocker. Aww. That's kind of that's kind of lame, in my opinion, but... Still, Ryuki, that nigga is dope as shit. I honestly, I, like, I've, like I told you, I've seen... If you on the internet, in the Pokemon community, then you've seen him before. Like, in thumbnails and whatnot, but still... Like, to actually see him in game, that nigga is dope. He is dope. Easily one of the coolest characters from 7th Gen so far. Easily one of the coolest characters. That nigga is fucking dope. If we hadn't been as overleveled as we were, I guarantee you his battle would have been fucking aggressive and arduous as fuck. And I will admit, Refresh did come through in the clutch there with that poison jab and with that focus blast. Not that the focus blast would have done much. I mean, let's be real, it was a fairy type. But. What's done is done, I can't change anything about Refresh. You know, back in episode 20, everyone begged me to use Refresh. They slammed their face in the keyboard. How come you don't take care of your Pokemon? So I use Refresh, and now here we are, 50 episodes later, and everyone's, Oh my god, Refresh is broken, Nappy. Why the fuck do you do that? It's ruined the whole LP. I can't win. I'm just here playing the game to play the game. When we do Nuzlocke, we won't use Refresh. It is what it is. But anyways, we have defended our championship title. It's super dope, super lit. And we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here. In the next episode, we will soft reset and figure out who we're going to be taking on next. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course you know can't wait to let's play the game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. Thank you all so much for your support and thank you for watching the video. We out this bitch. Bye!